scared of being left in the dark about finding your way around the periodic table? Don't be afraid. Use your sixth sense and keep track of those ghost-like groups of elements. Don't be caught dead with a chemist under your dining room table. I see groups of elements that dead people discovered. Well, actually, they weren't really dead when they discovered them. You know, I mean, they were alive when they discovered them. But then, you know, most of them have died since then because, you know, they discovered them a long time ago. But strictly speaking, they weren't dead then, you know, but they're dead now. So I suppose they discovered them, but they're dead. Okay. Check out the alkali metals. Group one on the far left end of the periodic table. Very reactive, silvery. You can cut them with a butter knife, they're soft. But I suppose really you wouldn't want to like spread them on toast or anything, you know, they're really reactive, you know, so most of them they have to like store in kerosene so they don't react with water. So you want to, you want to put that on your toast, that'd be, that'd be really gross. And right next to them in group two, are the alkaline earth metals. They're also very reactive, not as reactive as the alkaline metals. They exist only in compounds. They are rarely found on their own. See here that the groups or families are vertical columns. Note that one system numbers the representative elements from 1A to 8A. These eight groups or families represent elements that have from 1 to 8 valence or outer shell electrons. Many newer periodic tables include the transition metals in their numbering system and go from 1 to 18. The International Chemists Union recommends this. Then there's the noble gases on the far right hand end of the periodic table. They have a full octet for the most part and don't really want to react with anybody. So they kind, of, they kind of have the nose up in the air, don't want to, you know, hang out with anybody else, but they're noble, for sure. They're noble gases. They used to call them inert gases, but some chemists with really too much time on their hands got them to react with some other stuff under extreme conditions, but for the most part, they don't react with anything else. Then right next to the noble gases in group 17 are the halogens. One of them would be chlorine, and bromine, and so on like that. Then there's the transition metals. They're all right in the middle of the periodic table, the skinny part in the middle. They're mostly metals. That's why they call them transition metals. So typically they like conduct electricity pretty well and uh, a lot of them are silvery colored, but then there's, there's copper and metals like that. Then some kind of weird ones are the lanthanides and the actinides down in that little island down at the bottom of the periodic table. Actually, that whole group is the, the F block that they're in, right, are stuck between group three and group four, but that would make the periodic table really, really, really wide, so they don't, they usually don't do that. They stick them down, stick them down by themselves. You can see where they belong is right beside their namesake elements, lanthium and actinium. The actinides are all radioactive, so they're pretty hot stuff. And most of them are quote-unquote man-made elements. So it's not something you could go down to the element store and pick up just on a lark. Not a sparrow or a blackbird or anything either, but you certainly wouldn't pick them up on a lark. The horizontal rows on the periodic table are called periods. 
The transactinide elements are the newest elements discovered beyond the actinides. Here we show generally the nonmetals in the upper right hand corner, the semi-metals or metalloids separating the nonmetals from the metals, which are basically everything else on the periodic table. So that's the special groups of elements that these dead people discovered. But we've already been over that already, so, so that's them. Keep them in mind. Know where they're at, okay? It's cool. See ya. Bye. Okay, yeah, I know there was no good reason for that, actually, but... Here is a quick review just for you. Alkali metals, group 1 on the far left. Alkaline earth metals, just to the right of them, group 2. Noble gases, all the way to the right, group 18 or group 8A. Halogens, right to the left of them. Metalloids or semi-metals, dividing the periodic table between the non-metals, in that upper right-hand corner, and the metals, which are basically everything else. Here you have the lanthanides and the actinides.